Hey guys, uh, another fasting day is here, so I thought I'd show you a couple of uh, tricks and, and resources that I, I've had for years now. Um, on fasting days, I drink which black coffee. I've got iced black coffee right now. Um, I always, always supplement with salt, sodium. I take my magnesium supplement. The two, two of my favorite resources, my first one that got me started on fasting was The Obesity Code by Dr. Jason Fung. Um, amazing doctor. He also wrote a, another book, it's called The Complete Guide to Fasting, which is also full of great information. Um, so besides the, the sodium, the magnesium, obviously water, I drink uh, Sometimes if I'm, I'm needing something a little fizzy or flavored, I'll drink LaCroix or uh, Topo Chico. It's uh, that little bit of carbonation and bubbles sometimes helps. There's just, and there are certain times where you plan to fast through the day and it just doesn't happen. And especially for women, I notice that my cycle affects my ability to fast. There are certain times in the month that attempting to push a fast would be a suicide mission. It would just be insane. So there, I, I, I as I'm looking back, like I said, I don't, I don't plan ahead. I don't have a set schedule. Like I, I, I don't in my head think Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm gonna fast. Um, I base a lot of it on how I feel the and i notice there are certain times of the month where i fast a lot more and other times of the month where i just i i get very lenient with my fasting because i know it's just not possible i think though that that works in my favor it works in anybody's favor because it's constantly changing i'm not stuck in a consistent rut of same old same old for months at a time one, one other thing I noticed was um, on most days when I do eat, I eat my last meal of the day around like three o'clock in the afternoon. For the longest time before I started um, changing things up, trying to take care of myself a little bit better, uh, obviously I have two young children. Putting them to bed, my, my decompression was to sit in front of the TV, watch TV, and just eat and, and munch on food. That was how I just spent my me time. Um, which, I mean, it, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it because I was uh, then I would I would go to bed late. I'd I'd be woken up by my five year old in the morning, and I just it was not the way for me to start the day. I just it it was a bad start to the day when the when the five year old's running in waking you up. So. I actually found the first stage, the first thing I did when I started kind of um, making changes, because what happened was um, my 35th birthday, I was, I had gained back some of my weight, I was back to feeling like crap, and I had decided that this was going to be the year from, for an entire year. From 35 to 36, I was going to start making some small changes and hopefully ring in 36 at my healthiest and, and best ever. And I am turning 36 in August, so, so far I've stayed on track and it's been, it, it's been the best way to tackle all of this and feeling better and getting my lifestyle on track. But my first 
change. My first goal was to get my sleep schedule back. So that's when I started trying to get myself to go to bed early and wait and wake up early. So now I am in bed. I, my girls go to bed early, eight o'clock. I'm in bed by 8.30, passed out by nine. The best thing that went along with that is no more like late night snacking. Very rarely, very rarely will I put the girls to bed and then sit down and munch on some food while I watch TV. That's a treat to me, but it's a very sparse treat. It's not a daily ritual. And I think that has helped tremendously cutting out all that TV snacking at the end of the night. So there's that was stage one was just getting my sleep routine back on track because sleep is vital to your recovery. I know if I'm planning to fast, but I did not sleep well the night before or for some weird reason I stayed up a little late and didn't get a great amount of sleep the next day fasting isn't gonna happen. I cannot fast if I am tired because when I'm tired, I'm already kind of hungrier, uh, just lagging. So if I had to give anybody a uh, first tip is get your sleep schedule on track for whatever works for you because it, it will make or break you. Hey guys, uh, I came. Uh, been in the it's been a rainy nasty days and we've been in the house all afternoon and I've just I was hungry and I was fighting it fighting it fighting it and then it finally hits you where it's like I just can't fight it anymore that's that's just stupid so um, I made it probably about 20 24 hours give or take I, uh, give or take a chunk of like 30 minutes or so I made up a salad just because it's quick uh, some of my Tuscan soup, which is delicious. One thing I do, it's hugely helpful, when I make food, I make big batches of food, and then I individually freeze it. So I've always got home cooked, ready to go food in my deep freeze, which is extremely helpful. And a little bit before this, I had a couple handfuls of different nuts and a piece of string cheese, so. Some days you got it, and some days you don't. Either way, it's all good. That's dessert. Morning, everybody. Um, you'll notice I did not record a workout this morning because I didn't do one. Uh, I woke up and I'm a little tired and I'm feeling a little uh, burnout coming on. So rather than continue to push myself until I do burn out or, you know, break, I just decided I'm just going to give myself... A, a mental physical rest day um, the other plans that I was I've been thinking about I think I'm gonna slow down a little bit on um, the beast recordings just because they're the same exercises over and over again which I actually I love that that the familiarity is something I enjoy um, and I'll record like the power ladders, little things that change. Over the next couple weeks, we're still in the beast rising phase. So everything's pretty much the same. Um, today was uh, supposed to be the, it's called the Magic 8 workout in Core 4. It's the lumbar stabilization workout, which is going to be the same workout next week and the following week but it's uh, eight different moves with done twice, so two rounds. It's all on the physio ball, and uh, it's definitely new to me. So I know that workout is, it's not so much time consuming, but getting the feel for the moves and, and possibly having to stop to, to watch the demonstrations to make sure I'm, I'm doing it the right way. So I, mm, doubt I'll do Beast and that tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, when I wake up, I know how I feel and, and what I'll do. Um, but I still have one Beast workout left to, uh, this week and two core fours. But today is just going to be give yourself some rest and 
you know, pick up where you left off tomorrow. Never hurts if you feel like you're burning out to give yourself a break, but give yourself a break before you burn out and don't let that break turn into four or five straight days. Cause for me, if that happens, it's kind of downhill from there. So I think the other thing too, just like using my zero app and looking back over my history, I've actually had in the past week, I've done three pretty decently long fasts for myself. Prior to starting the alternate or the full day fast, I was, like I told you, I was trying to stick to just 20 hours a day, give or take. So sometimes it's 18. Um, but in the past week, I've had a 34 hour fast, a 39 hour fast, and a 23 hour fast. And um, because that's not routine for me, it's, still pretty new to me mentally that takes a lot of push and that can get exhausting too so um i have some cream in my coffee this morning and i'm just gonna stick go back to my my usual which is 20 hours so like one today or something i somewhere around in there i'll eat but that that's not like hugely st stressful to me. That's my norm. And uh, as you saw yesterday, I didn't make it through the entire day. Um, I ended up eating one meal yesterday. So um, other than that, like I said, I'm going to slow down on recording as a, the beast. So it's not, you know, the same thing every single week. And uh, maybe just give you a little bit more um, on the nutrition side for a little bit. Hey guys, um, coming up on, well, I'm like 45 minutes sh shy of 20 hours fasted, but I'm getting ready to cook my meal because I uh, just put the two-year-old down and that's just prime time to cook my meal and get to sit down and actually eat. So the plan for today is leftovers. Um, Sunday nights, steak on the grill there was leftover onions peppers steak so i'm gonna throw all that in the skillet with some eggs mushrooms uh and then i'm thinking maybe a side smoothie for dessert that's that's the plan and there you have it uh, i also had a couple of uh, potatoes left and then the white stuff besides the cheese there I've had a couple eggs thrown in there so now I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this so finish my steak and egg leftover skillet munching on some uh, roll of Hawaiian bread and my my almond butter straight out the jar because nobody else in the house eats it and I'm gonna uh, whip up a smoothie and that'd be it for the day so another giant smoothie today. I'll sit down, drink that, and then probably be done for the day. Uh, so it's almost about two o'clock. So you might be starting to notice, seems like my trend is when I eat, I eat. And when I fast, I fast. I just try to avoid just snacking. It, I like to sit down, eat a meal, and be done. Hey guys. So I finished up month one of Beast this morning. I did not do core four abs yet. It's that magic eight uh, workout that um, I'm kind of avoiding like a bad ex. I'm just not looking forward to it. I'm actually coming up on almost 21 hours fasted, which wasn't intentional. It's just a much nicer day out today. So took the kids out this morning and I find fasting's a lot easier when I can get out of the house and be outside. Uh, let's see. I, so I am getting ready to cook my, my first meal of the day, which is going to be um, sausage, eggs mixed with some veggies. And then this was actually my pre-challenge meal, all of AX1. Steel cut oats with baked apples, toasted walnuts, and then I would add uh, peanut butter into it. I cook them up with whole uh, whole milk. And sometimes I would add some raisins in there for just uh, that extra sweetness. So 
There are signs and reasons for it. That will be um, breakfast this morning. And because I'm eating pretty early in the day today, 11, it's going to probably be a uh, two meal day. And there's the eggs and sausage with veggies. And always top it off with some cheese. And there is my cinnamon apple walnut oatmeal with uh, some raisins spread on top because I'm worth it. I, this stuff is so good, so filling, and it's just a treat in a bowl. Hey guys, so I included my recent measurements I just took this morning and my weight, and I had a tidbit more information for you. Um, as time goes on and as these programs go on, my weight on the the scale really i couldn't really care less about it i think it's a a real crap way to kind of judge your your progress so one rule of thumb or or a way to measure your progress especially like your body fat because i have one of those scales that uh it tells you your body fat percentage but i don't i don't know how accurate that is so I, I like taking measurements. A general, general rule of thumb for women, you should be measuring around your waist, the, the smallest part. I don't, I measure at the belly button just because that's where I felt like it and that's where I take it. Men measure at the belly button. For every inch that you lose from your waist, that is equivalent to about five pounds of true body fat loss um, when you do measure your waist make sure you're measuring it in the morning in a fasted state before you eat drink and after you use the bathroom because even obviously everybody knows your waist Mommy. circumference goes up and down with bloat second thing Mommy. measure Mommy. your shoulder circumference if your shoulder circumference on the outside of the shoulders, like at the armpit level, is staying relatively the same, but your waist is shrinking, then you are losing body fat, you're doing a good job. If your shoulder circumference is going down, but your waist is staying about the same, then you kind of want to um, make some adjustments because you might be losing more muscle than you are body fat. Uh, so I hope that helps you. Definitely use more than just the scale. In fact, if you want to stay the hell off the scale, stay off of it. Because I think sometimes that can mentally mess with you. Second meal of the day, I'm whipping up some guac and uh, I had a salmon filet in the fridge that needed to get eaten. So I'm just throwing that on some crackers. So that's part one of my second and last meal of the day. Well, I finished up uh, the guac, I ate it straight out the bowl with a spoon, the salmon with some crackers, and followed that up with a sweet potato, a piece of string cheese, and now I'm on to a smoothie and probably a little almond butter, and that's it for the day. And just like a bad ex, I made it out to be a lot worse in my head than what it really was.